Ok, so we start. Uno, due, tre, check. Good morning and good afternoon wherever you are in the art world. Today, the art talks are delighted to have the director of uh, Photo Basel and the artistic director of Photo Basel together with us. So good morning to Sven and Alessa. How are you? Good morning. We're good, I think. We're getting, Perfect. yeah. Thank you. Thank you for being here very early this morning with us. Uh, but we are all, uh, you know, going on a deadline <laughs> for Art Basel. So what I would like to ask Sven, um, I would love, since you are the director of Photo Basel in Switzerland, could you tell us what inspired you to, to be in the art world, first of all, and uh, how do you become a director of such an exciting affair? Well, um, you know, we, a, a, a bunch of friends of mine, we started Photo Basel back in 2014 with just yes. having the idea. We, we grew up in Basel, and you must know, if you grow up in Basel, you have the zoo, you have Basel World, <laughs> You have Fasnacht and you have Art Basel. Those are the, the, the classic things. And your, your parents, they'll drag you to all of those events. And, and so obviously from a very young age on, I was a regular at Art Basel. And then, you know, when I was a teenager, I tried to sneak in with some VIP card that you could, you know, somebody had a VIP card. And it was just always a, an incredible uh, energetic week uh, throughout the whole city. Um, and then, you know, after my, my, my studies, uh, uh, you know, my friends and I, we were just here and realizing, okay, there might be something that we can add to this fantastic week of our Basel. And then we broke it down. One of my colleagues, he was a photographer. And then it just kind of like, you know, the ideas started to uh, to happen, you know, like ad hoc. And uh, we soon realized that there's a great potential. And obviously we never wanted to compete with, with any other fair here. We wanted to be complementary. You know, we wanted to be an add-on, a valuable add-on. And from a very uh, early age, we all always informed the other fairs um, and until this day, I don't like to be called a satellite fair or we're just a parallel fair because we're not a satellite. We're, we're, we're doing something that completes the whole week. Right. And um, yeah, so then we, we started it. Our uh, first edition was 2015 with the humble 18 galleries, you know, and it was uh, it was quite successful. You know, we were not surprised because we worked hard, but it was um, we just realized, wow, we opened something up, you know, and then uh and why I'm director is basically because it became so much that my colleagues, they dropped out, you know, they had kids, family, uh, you know, uh, well-paying day jobs. And, and so I was soon, you know, uh, uh, I had to make a decision if I want to continue uh, with my day job uh, and run Photo Basel as a hobby or, or, or not. And, and I think the decision was quite easy because I really loved the energy and everything, the creation, uh, uh, um, talking with all the stakeholders and traveling. And then, you know, it, it became my, my profession. So I'm just, yes, I'm called the director, but basically it feels like I'm just the, the last guy that's responsible. You know, it's, it's, that's, that's more, you know, the thing. So um, yeah, but, but, you know, obviously looking back, I also realized that my godfather was an art, is an artist. I basically grew up with art in the house, but that's just something I realized because I'm not from the art world. You know, I'm from the hospital. I have a hospitality background. And um, so, yeah, those mm -hmm. those worlds connect really, really well. And uh, and of course, as I said, you know, when you grow up in Basel uh, with this density of, of 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 incredible museums, it's kind of in your genetics, like it's in your DNA. Um, so, yeah, that's a bit how it came, uh, how it all started. Yes. And we we actually met during Zurich. Um, another fell last year <laughs> and it was uh, and again you know what struck us is always your uh, you, you know this humble humbleness that yeah. you have and also yeah. you know what you told me last time which was very very nice it's it's about passion it's about transparency it's about collaboration and i think this is this is what you know what we the art talks and the art talk magazine is, is all about it's about this new brave uh, art world that we we we, we are trying, you know, to, to pursue uh, the utopistic world. But what do you think? Is this, um, can you share this vision that you have? Do you think it, it is really possible? It, you know, I, I think, you know, after, after surviving the pandemic, and, and let me tell you, it was really hard for all of us, you know. Um, I just realized, or we just realized that it's really all about collaboration, you know. It's really, um, 
the, the art market is is actually quite small. You know, if you, if you if you look at the numbers, it's it's actually a super small, tiny little niche of a niche of a niche. So without collaboration, we will all not survive. You know, it's we're all a bit in the same boat, and 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 we're a very we're the I would say we're a new breed of 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 art world professionals. And and of course, you'll always have the ones that will not share. But I, I'm more on the other side, and I think it's about sharing. It's about mentorship. Um, and of course, you know, even if we're at one level, you know, uh, uh, competitors, it's still great to, to have a, 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 a network that we can exchange and benchmark. And, and I think in, in, in the long run, we're, we're in the same boat. And, and, and this is the way to survive. Uh, uh, that, but that's just my, that's what, how, what we, you know, do at Photo Basel. And you must know, you know, the photography world uh, is, is is already very different from the classic art world, and and mm -hmm. and good thing is I never knew the distinction because I only knew uh, um, the the fine art, the photography world, right? But obviously, even from the from price wise and everything, you know, we're we're obviously not where the the art world could be or is already. So for us, it was always a bit more collaborating um, from the very start, you know, um, because we never we never have those millions and millions of sales because it's just not happening in in our industry or on a very very little small scale you know and 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 maybe that's why our attitude is is more about collaborating you know um so that's why and 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 yeah you know even to reach new a, a new audience you you cannot be stubborn you have to open up you know i, I mean we were the very first uh, uh photography art fair that did a whole virtual fair uh in 2020 in june when everything got uh Wow. When the lights got uh, pulled out, you know, um, we were uh, on the forefront to show NFTs in 2021 in September. You know, we now show, and Alessa might talk about this later, uh, we have an, a, a, an artist that works with, with artificial intelligence. So we're always trying out to be, to be present and to be inclusive, to include all sorts of media, all sorts of people in this whole, uh, um, with this whole new generation, I would say. Fascinating, and I think this is the exact and the right recipe <laughs> for the art world. Yeah. If everybody would be like like you, Sven, but uh, and, and your team. But to to this, Alessa, uh, you you are the artistic director, and um, I saw uh, through your programs your wonderful, super exciting uh, program that you have organized. What are the criteria for the galleries to be uh, in Photo Basel? And uh, of course, to if you can talk uh, and share a, a bit of your programs and uh, your uh, extended program that you, you have organized. Yeah, sure. So I would say our goal for Photo Basel is in general to have quite a broad spectrum. So from vintage photographs to renowned contemporary photographers, as well as upcoming talents and like Sven just said, current topics, like for example, having AI or works that were created with AI present. Um, so the, therefore the gallery section is quite diverse, but still somehow balanced. And um, I would say the main criteria is especially the proposed booth concepts with which the galleries apply. So a roundup interesting and innovative concept can get you into Photo Basel. Also criteria like having an international um, exciting gallery program and of course the presence on the art market is important as well. Um, of course, in the end, it's not only up to Sven and me which galleries are going to participate. We are also a Photo Basel expert circle that evaluates all the application and is also part of the final decision. So that's so far about the criteria for our gallery acceptance. As to your second question, we have quite a broad um, special program this year, starting with two special exhibitions. The first one is called Pure Photography, 20th Century Floral Masterworks. Um, it was created in collaboration with WBB Gallery in Zurich. And it is going to show original black and white prints from acclaimed 20th century photographers, as well as contemporary American photographers spanning over a hundred years of photography history. So works by names like Imogen Cunningham, Edward Weston, Ansel Adams and others are going to be on view. And just to explain the term pure photography, which is 
quite unique, was coined by Ansel Adams, actually. He was one of the founders of the very famous group F64, who, well, like I already said, whose members are quite present in our special exhibition. Um, just, just to give you a little bit of background, this group F64 in the early 20th century were opposing the pictorialists. So photographers like, for example, Alfred Stiglitz that were trying to um, show with their photographic works that it is um, as important as paintings and other forms of arts. And they tried to reach this with manipulating their prints. So they tried to get the artist's hand into the photograph with or like scratching or it or manipulating the negative. The members of the group F64, however, understood photography as a form of art solely solely depending on photography itself. So they were striving for clarity, for authenticity and perfection in the darkroom, which was quite a different approach back then. And there were pioneers in that part of photography. So we're going to show these amazing photographs. And the special part about this, it is that we're only showing floral subjects. It's quite a unique selection that is from a private collection. And it is going to be, yeah, quite a unique presentation of those very famous members of the group F64. So that is sort of our quite historical special exhibition. Um, in addition, we are going to have another highlight. In collaboration with Galerie Esther Wörderhoff and the Alex Kaiser Foundation, we're going to show a retrospective about Alex Kaiser. You might not know that name and that's absolutely okay um, because he isn't as famous nowadays as he should be. Um, he was from Basel, he was born there in 1949, lived there but then moved to New York and passed away in 2015. And since then his artistic estate that includes a great body of work has never been showed. And his style, his photographic work is quite pianistic as well, because he contemplates documentation and narration that moves between photography, performance, video, and experimental art. So quite early on, he started to work with photographic sequences, then moved on to sort of a um, performative way of staging happenings and photographing them, which was in the 70s and quite unique in his time. And I think his now most known series is called Artist Portraits, where he photographed almost all pro pro protagonists from the New York art scene, like Andy Warhol, David Hockney, Salvador Dali, and so on. And those artist portraits are also staged in sort of a happening-like way, always quite humorous. And the special part of all these series is that he used a quite ancient technique of hand coloring those prints. So he started to um, highlight certain parts of those black and white prints so that sort of the narrative changed. And we are very, very excited to have this, you could say retrospective exhibition at Photo Basel this year. So those are two big highlights that we're going to show. Um, but well, there's a lot go more going on as well. Like we have a special feature that is called Beyond Photography that um, sort of tries to find the borders of photography and how they shift and how photographs can go actually beyond photography using different techniques or AI and just broadening the medium. Um, then we're going to have a special exhibition in collaboration with Space 25 that is right next door to Photo Basel where we're going to show the Basel-based photographers Chantal Convertini and Costas Matos, who are both also exhibited at Photo Basel. In addition, the Museum Tengli is our cultural partner, and we organize, for example, a guided tour in their current exhibition, Roger Ballen, Call of the Void, and yeah, things like that are going on. So yeah, get, re get ready for Photo Basel and its extended program this year. Wow, I can only say wow because I can't wait to see all of this. It's a lot. It's, it's, a, it's lot. a lot. Yeah. In a week, it's it must be incredible what you're doing. It's uh, wow. And as you say, you know, it's always nice since you are 
you, you know, this local but global. Uh, yes, yeah. About especially about an artist from Basel, it's beautiful. You know, I think I I don't know him, and so I will. I'm very happy that you uh, that I will learn, and it's a, it's about learning every day. And I think it's it's beautiful to put this retrospective about Basel today and and before. Thank you, thank you. So we can't we can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> So in the one thing that I would like to ask you both, this is a bit more humorous, uh, the, the, the image that you use for your invitation, which is actually, it looks like, you know, Mediterranean sponge, but as an ice cream uh, in the blue sky. Why? Is there a meaning? Or Well, I mean, uh, uh, so I should show it in one more time. Um, yeah, that one. <laughs> To be honest, you know, when we started, um, we had a couple of images in our head, like back in 2014. And, um, you know, by coincidence, I would say one of the gallerists uh, proposed, uh, it was Esther Verdehoff, and, and she proposed to work with this uh, duo Put Put from Denmark and, and Switzerland. And, and they just like literally they just came up with with this series. And and back then in 2015, so in our very, very first edition, it was a blue sponge uh, uh, on, a, on, a, on a red background, which are kind of like the Basel colors from, from the, the soccer club. So, and everybody's crazy about soccer. Um, so we just went with that. And because it was such an instant success and everybody recognized it, we never wanted to change it. So we asked the, the, the artists, how many of those popsicles are left? And we're like, yeah, 14. And we're like, ah, that's fine. You know, maybe we're never going to make that, that many uh, affairs. So every year, we basically stick with the sponges because as you mentioned, it's fun, it's playful, it's in June. So it's usually hot or warm here. It's this ice cream thing and people really know it. And, and, and you know, we, we just, honestly, we just fell in love and there is actually no reason to change it. And um, yeah, so, so we literally, we got stuck with the popsicle and with the PB, which is a photo basel. So those are the key visual and the logo. And we just, yeah, we love it. And we just, very stubbornly stick with it. And, but we and love it, it too. <laughs> yeah, it helps us a lot because when everything is super stressful and a lot going on and you need something to calm down, you just look at those beautiful colors, maybe get yourself an ice cream and everything will be fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, like, I like your the vision. We will try to, the philosophy, and we will try to, to think of, of your picture, <laughs> especially in the next few weeks, just before the, the 12th. Yes, yeah. when everything starts. Yeah. So, but thank you, thank you so much, then thank you, Alessa. It's it's uh, so exciting. And again, um, anything that you would like to share today, maybe you know, in in next uh, project, because of course this takes a lot behind the scenes. It must be, yeah. as we heard before, so many things happening. Yeah, it's anything a lot. There for the future, uh, for the our talk audience, I will see you during our I class. Mean yeah course. right i mean you're right uh, uh there is little, a little something that we announced uh, a few weeks ago we're, we're we're uh going to miami in december um which is a big move for us uh, um and it makes a lot of sense because you know our basel established their second fair uh in back in 2020 in 2002 in miami so we're really happy to uh yeah to to bring this photo basel circus uh together with scope to to miami beach from december 5th to 10th so save the date book the, the tickets if you have not already. And I always, honestly, I, I found it so interesting because every time I, you know, whenever you're in this industry, you know, you hear people saying like, okay, we'll see you in Basel, you know, see you in Venice, see you in Miami. And, and it's kind of like, I'm, I'm super humbled because now we can kind of like say that too and say like, oh yeah, you know, in Basel, yeah, yeah, see you in Miami. And that's kind of nice. So it's kind of a circle that closes. So yeah, that's the big news for, uh, for the rest of the year, for sure. Thank you.